Generative AI is disrupting the job market at lightning speed, presenting employers and employees with the need to evolve rapidly to meet change, changing expectations. Now, a new study closing the gap, upskilling and reskilling in an AI era reveals key insights in how employers and employees are adapting to an AI-driven workplace and what can be done better to meet future demands. Now, Elise Awad, President and CEO of DeVry, DeVry University, is joining us live this morning. Good morning, Elise, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Good morning. I mean, this is a very interesting subject we're about to talk about, Elise, so can you share some key findings from this study around the current approach of AI in the workplace? Yes, yeah, so, um, you know, Gen AI, machine learning, it's absolutely transforming the way we work. And so we wanted to learn more about how employers and employees view uh, AI in the workplace. And so we recently conducted a study um, and it actually revealed some key findings, uh, one of which being 50% of workers believe AI will make their jobs easier with many of them um, understanding the importance of reskilling to leverage AI more efficiently in the work workplace. Um, the study also found that there's a lack of proper training in adopting and leveraging AI in the workplace. In fact, employers and employees have very different views on AI proficiency and AI literacy. Uh, employers actually believe that 32% of their employees are novices or beginners when it comes to AI proficiency. And employees, there are only 3% of them characterize themselves as such. In fact, 49% believe they're intermediate or advanced. So clear disconnect in how they view AI uh, literacy and readiness. Yeah, it is clear connect. Can you share some details behind the results of this new study, particularly as they impact women? Yeah, so the data here is very significant. There's a, despite increased access uh, to upskilling and AI technology, uh, women are lagging behind men in adoption. And I think this is driven by um, men believing and being more optimistic around the fact that AI is going to help positively impact their careers. Whereas women um, do not feel the same way. Uh, the data behind that is 43% of men feel positive about AI's impact, uh, whereas only 27% of women do. So huge gap. And I think um, in order to close that, we've got to, we've got to make sure that we're showcasing uh, that AI powered technology can open up doors and unlock opportunities for women as well um, to high growth, uh, high, high growth uh, career opportunities. Now, if AI is here to stay, how can we make it our friend in the workplace? AI is definitely here to stay, and I think companies need to uh, implement integration strategies, AI integration strategies. Um, uh, that'll include comprehensive training for all employees, all employees, not just a subset. Um, and I think uh, that will help them remain competitive, but also um, uh, learning and development opportunities in general in the workplace, uh, increase employee engagement, and then also increase retention. Uh, let's not forget that also proper AI training uh, will help mitigate organizational risks because there are cases of improper usage of AI that open up uh, companies to a, a significant amount of risk. What do employees and employers need to do, be doing to close the upskilling and reskilling gaps in the workplace? With AI now playing a very large role in the way uh, companies operate and, uh, and, and do business, I think there's a responsibility for employers to lean in to this opportunity to basically double down on upskilling and reskilling their staff to leverage AI. Um, but I also believe that it's two-sided. So this challenge is also on the employees to seek opportunities to upskill and reskill and not just wait for opportunities um, to be presented. Uh, we see this across a number of different industries, both employers and employees coming to DeVry uh, to, uh, to, to get you know, customized training solutions to close skills gaps like this. In other words, get off the couch, quit watching that football game, and learn something new. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I love like. that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, where can our viewers go for more information? Viewers can go to uh, our website, devry.edu, to learn more about the study and also the programs that we offer here at DeVry University. We are speaking with Elise Awad, President and CEO of DeVry University. Thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. Thank you for having me.